I've got a fun one for you today. We're going to make Tic-Tac-Toe in Microsoft Excel. You can assign players to O and X, the game guides you along the whole time, and eventually lets you know if someone wins or if it ends up in a tie. Plus, you get to sharpen your Excel skills along the way. Okie dokie, let's get started. First and foremost, I want to let you know that this build is only compatible with the Office 365 version of Excel. Unfortunately, it won't work with older versions of Excel. That being said, the first thing that you want to do is set up the worksheet structure. Click here to select all cells, change the font to Arial, increase the font size to 14, set the vertical alignment to middle, and set the horizontal alignment to center. Next, right click on the row headings, select row height, change the height to 40, and click OK. Nice. Now for the borders. Click the down arrow next to the borders button here and change the line color to gray. When you do, Excel is going to go into draw border mode, but we want to turn this off. So click the down arrow next to the borders button again and click draw border to turn it off. Then select the range B2 through D3. Click the down arrow here and click this to apply all borders. Next, select B5 through D7 and click here to apply all borders. Select F2 through G3, apply all borders. Select H6 through R7, apply all borders. Select J2 through Q5 and apply all borders. Now, I want you to turn off the grid lines by going to View and uncheck grid lines. At this point, you want to add in a few more details to help keep things organized. So start by selecting B2 through D3, go to Home, bold the font, click the Fill Color button here, and add a light gray fill color. Then click this button to merge the cells into one. Select B5 through D7 next, Bold the font, select F2 through F3, bold the font, and add a light gray fill color. Now select J2 through Q2, bold the font, add a light gray fill color, select H6 through H7, click the font color button, change the font color to blue, select I6 through I7, Bold the font, add a light gray fill color, select J6 through Q7, change the font color to blue, select R6 through R7, bold the font, add a light gray fill color, and change the font color to blue. Nice. For the final touch, select column G, right click, resize column, Change the size to 20 and click OK. With the worksheet structure now set up, go ahead and add the following values to your spreadsheet. Awesome. Once you've added the values, next comes the fun part, the formulas. Start by selecting cell J3 and enter the following. Equals B5 through B7. Then in cell K3, enter the formula, equals C5 through C7. In L3, enter the formula, equals D5 through D7. Then in cell M3, enter the formula, equals transpose function B5 through D5, close parentheses and press enter. In cell N3, Enter the formula equals transpose function B6 through D6, close parentheses and press enter. In cell O3, enter the formula equals transpose function B7 through D7, 
close parentheses and press enter. In cell P3, enter the formula equals vstack function B5, comma C6, comma D7, close parentheses, enter. In cell Q3, enter the formula equals vstack function D5, comma C6, comma B7, close parentheses, and press enter. Fantastic. Next, select cell J6 and enter the following. Equals count if function J dollar sign three pound sign comma dollar sign I6. Close parentheses and press enter. Make sure that you have the dollar signs right. Then use the fill handle to copy the formula down to the cell below and then across to column Q. Now, if you're curious what the pound sign does in this formula, let me explain. The pound sign tells Excel to reference an array that is stored in the referenced cell, which in this case is cell J3. And you'll notice that if we select cell J3, there is a blue border around these three numbers, and this indicates that an array is spilling out of cell J3. So we use the pound sign to reference all of these values. That being said, go ahead and select cell R6 and enter the next formula. Equals count if function J6 through Q6, comma, three, close parentheses, and press enter. Then use the fill handle to copy the formula to the cell below. Okay. Only a few more formulas to go. Select cell H6 and enter the following. Equals count if function B5 through D7. Add dollar signs to make this an absolute reference. Comma I6 close parentheses and press enter. Then Copy the formula down with the fill handle. Awesome. At this point, we only have one more formula to write. It's the most important and also the most complex. So instead of reading it out to you, I'm going to put it on the screen for you to see. But before that, I'm gonna start by expanding the formula bar to allow more space for the formula. To do this, Click on the bottom of the bar and drag down to add more space. Once you've done that, select the merged cell here near the top and add the formula that you see on screen. If you're curious how to add multiple lines to the formula like I did, you do that by pressing Alt Enter on your keyboard. This is just to make the formula easier to read though and doesn't affect how it works in any way. And as you go, double check that you've got all of the details of the formula correct. Once you finally finish the formula, go ahead and select columns H through R, right click, then hide. And now you're ready to play tic-tac-toe. All you have to do is follow the instructions in the box. Enter two names to play. Then begin with the first player and continue until someone wins or it's a tie. Then you can clear the board by pressing delete on your keyboard and play all over again. How amazing is that? Now I've got to say I couldn't quite figure out how to write the formula in such a way that would allow anyone to go first. I could only figure it out by indicating which player must start. If you are able to figure out a way to make it so that anyone can start, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to learn and hear your thoughts. Other than that, I hope you had fun and thanks for watching. Until next time, I will see you again soon in the next Spreadsheet Life video. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you tied a rope to me.